Joey, you played for the Kiwis 26-6, win against Tonga. Yep. That atmosphere out there looked amazing. Obviously, a lot of red flags, but being back in New Zealand first time in two years must have been a good buzz for you. Yeah, no, it was awesome, eh? Um, it's been a while since they've had a bit of footy there, and mm. uh, for myself, it's been a while since I've pulled on the Kiwi jersey. So uh, going back there, obviously the Tongan crowd, um, they're, they're pretty special too to play in front of. So. Uh, it was a good buzz, but yeah, I just enjoyed it. Joseph, that was arguably one of the better Kiwi performers I've seen for a long period of time. Spine mm. click, powerful. A lot of talk about Tonga sort of, you know, taking you guys on. Where'd you rate it? Like, I know you, you probably watched the, the bro over here play a couple of times, but <laughs> honestly, that was one of the better performances I've seen from the Kiwis for a long time. Yeah, uh, for myself, it was probably, yeah, one of the better ones that I've played in. Um, just a lot of new players and... Um, Everyone's sort of in form at the moment, and I think um, being a part of their spine was um, pretty nice too. Of obviously Dylan Brown and Jerome Hughes, days um, been probably one of the best halves in the comp. So um, playing off the back of them and a solid forward pack um, was pretty good too. Now obviously representing your country is a dream; it's a big thing. But you got to play with some of your mates from New Zealand. But what about some of the Tongan team? Some of your best mates, Satili yeah. Tupanu and Siwa Takiaha. <laughs> How was that? Yeah, it was a bit different uh, playing against the boys. Obviously, they're uh, pretty close mates of mine, and. Um, yeah, I've seen they're trying to get after me a fair bit. <laughs> but uh, no, it was good with chatting today at, at club and it was pretty funny. So before that game, you were my favourite player, right? But now Satili Tupanu is my favourite player because he smashed you on Sunday night. <laughs> yeah, no, we're talking about it today at training, actually. Yeah. I think it was a hit shot, eh? But, no, I thought it was a fair game. He got you clean, I think. Look at this. Did he let you know anything about bro. it? Did he yeah. say anything? No, um, Robbo brought it up at training today. <laughs> <laughs> you said he had a target on me, you reckon? <laughs> well, I know, I know why. Like, that was probably one of the best individual performances I think I've ever seen. I mean, a lot was reported. Like, people were saying 302, 368, I heard 398 metres. You know, that performance for you, where did that come from? Uh, I'm not sure. I just, yeah, I, I felt pretty good, eh? And um, obviously, like I said, like, we, we, we've got a pretty good team now in the Kiwis. Um, and it's a lot of confidence on the back of um, that big forward pack. And, you know, you've got good halves there, so... Uh, I just felt confident um, bring that ball back and I sort of just played played my own style. So uh, it, was, it ended up being pretty good. So how do you feel confident playing mm. fullback when you play limited times there mm. at Clubland and you play centre with Tedesco there? So how do you get confidence? Is Tedesco helping or some of the New Zealand guys, Madge's system, help mm. you do that? Oh, I think um, Teddy's probably helped me a bit too um, back in club. Uh, obviously, he's pretty um, special to, to learn from, probably the best fullback in the game. Um, but yeah, wherever I play on the field, I've played a few positions now. I sort of, uh, I just want to bring my own style. Um, it doesn't matter what jersey I have on. It's um, about how I want to play, uh, play the game. So yeah, I just try to um, do what I can and I just keep playing that style in whatever jersey.